Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. I've been asked how do you apply the stamps to an acrylic block and so I thought the best thing to do would be to show you. Now there's several ways you can buy your stamps. These are on wooden blocks and they're already mounted but that's the expensive way to buy stamps. You can also buy them ready mounted on foam but not on the wooden block and that's a less expensive way to buy them and these will just because they're ready mounted these will just fit to an acrylic block and be ready for you to ink and stamp and then when you're finished you can just store it back on the sheet and pop it away now these are already um, clear stamps and they are sticky on the back and these will also just fit onto an acrylic block so that you can ink and stamp and again once you've finished you can just add it back to your sheet and store it but what if you buy your stamps like this these are uncut and unmounted and these need to be cut out so that you can use them on your blocks these are some of the blocks that you can use these are the rocker blocks from crafters companion these are just acrylic blocks that you can buy and the ones with the handles are from clarity stamp now you need to decide which way you want to use your stamp if you're going to, to use these unmounted and uncut stamps then you need to cut very closely around the edge of the image that you want as I have done with this one. I've gone round as close as I can and I've cut that image out and what I'm going to do is add this to an acrylic block. So what I need to do to make sure that that sticks because at the moment that will just fall off. So I'm going to use stick and spray now this is a product and again it's from Crafters Companion and all you need to do is just very lightly spray the back of your stamp and then just leave it for a second or two just to let that dry off a little bit and then once you've done that that will then stick to your acrylic block and now you can ink that up and stamp that as much as you want and then when you've finished you just peel it off and pop it back on its storage sheet and keep it safe and you can use that for a few times before you need to respray it so if you want to use the unmounted stamps you need the stick and spray and these are the rocker blocks and for these you don't need to add the mounting foam and all these products are from Crafters Companion. Now this is a set of um, sentiment stamps and again it's from Crafters Companion. They're all on one sheet and I like to add my stamps to some mounting foam and this is easy mount now it's double sided and one side is not sticky and the other side is so all I'm going to do is add my, my whole stamp plate to this sticky side you're going to waste a little bit of the foam but you'll waste it anyway and to just add that plate to that mountain foam is a lot easier than trying to cut out all the individual stamps from that sheet. Now once you've done that, what you're going to do is get some really sharp scissors. Now that will keep for the next lot of stamps. Now with some sharp scissors I'm going to cut out the individual sentiments. Now once this is added to your foam tape, you're going to cut out each individual sentiment and your, um, your legend sheet will show you which is which and you're going to cut out as close to but without damaging the words. 
and you're going to do that on all the sentiments. So once you've done that, you can then decide which block you're going to use and you can peel off your backing sheet and you can then add that to your sentiment block, uh, to your acrylic block and that is now ready to ink up and stamp. Now with your stamp on the block, what you need to do before you use it on your good card is test it out. So I'm just going to ink it up and I'm going to add it to some paper. Now, if you get the shadow around the edge of the stamp, then you haven't cut that close enough. So what you need to do is trim it some more so that it's as close as you can get it to your image. And then the next time you use it, let's try it again. So now the next time you use it, you'll get a clean stamp. Oh, I haven't pressed it hard enough, but you'll get a clean stamp with no edge around it. So let's try that again. And I'll press a little bit harder this time. And there we have a nice clean image. Now once you're finished with your stamp, you're just going to clean it off. And these are just cheap baby wipes. And then you can store it on a sheet. And this is from the, the Easy Mount storage boxes, again from Crafter's Companion. And all I've done is add them all to one sheet. And then the sheets all store in the box and I know where they all are then ready for using.